video, bros. Welcome back to video, bros. Were you, because, like, if you save, like, save you're playing as him, right? And you yeah. jump over a character. You're gonna be, like, save you're on the left side and your character, and your opponent on the right side. You're gonna be jumping over onto your right side. And you're gonna be facing right. Instead, he swaps positions right away. And he always faces your opponent, so you don't automatically ever do wrong, um, wrong inputs. Like how, in, how Street Fighter is. Yeah. So, like, one, one thing I don't, I don't, I don't get, though, and I don't know how this... Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me that Ryu is a character that shouldn't be in Smash, but should be at the same time. But it does, like, his, his the way he works defies what Smash is at the same time. And the way he's developing him now, it defies it even more because it's like, no other character can do what he does, though, and, and only he can do what he does. Like, everything that I... He's a fighter. No, I understand that, but I'm saying everything that he does, like, m automatically moving and changing, automatically doing this, doing that, button commands, this and that, it's just, like, no other character had that only Ryu does, and I'm like, that's... I understand that they're trying to, you know, bring him to the, what he is in, in, in Street Fighter, but it's like, that kind of, you're, you're just bringing a character that literally breaks the whole system of character you have, he's the only one that does that. Yeah. I, I don't know, I guess that might be me, but I, either way, I'm still happy for it because I like Smash, I liked Ryu, and I like what they do with him. I'm just saying, yeah, I, I love I'm just saying in terms of if it makes sense, though, but, you know... He fits right at home. He, he does. I mean, Sakurai knew what he was doing, and he knew what he was doing again, because he knew how to fix him, and they, they, they fixed him, so... Cloud, I noticed some differences with. Like what? Well, now the... Um, the limit gauge plays by your damage meter. That's and, good. uh... Yeah, so that's pretty pretty cool. It wasn't really necessary, but it's pretty cool. It is actually... I think it actually, it, it, it actually helps more than you think, because when you use your limit break, it's only on top of your head, right? Oh, yeah. But as you, as you use it, though, as you use it, it stays on top of your head. But as you're not using it, you, you only... Say you only filled it up, like, a quarter of a way... You still know how much is left on the bottom. Like as you're seeing it, it doesn't it doesn't go away. Yeah, I so also noticed. I also noticed that uh, he was sped up quite a bit too. Mm, I don't. I didn't see anything about that or hear anything about that, but that could be a thing. Then again, a lot of characters were sped up more. Mm -hmm. Um, Corin, I didn't really notice anything too different. Bayonetta, neither. Uh, uh, no thing with her really either. Um, Bayonetta, it's uh, the Bayonetta oh. has different sound like effects. Oh yeah, different sound effects depending on which you skin play, you're player using. One or player two. Yeah. Also, it's cool that Rodan is an assist trophy. Yes, yeah, so I was expecting that to be a thing. I first thought he was a playable character, and then I'm like, oh, okay, assist trophy, close enough. That's the next. But you know best what? Thing. You know what? I don't. I don't get though. What? Because you have, like, every character here now has an assist trophy. Yeah. Except for Cloud. Too bad his isn't of, like, Sephiroth or something. Uh, and Ryu, too. Ryu and Cloud are the only ones that don't have a sister because I don't, like... Like, one thing I want to talk about that, that actually did, didn't get officially confirmed yet, but it's, but it's, like, there, it was in the trailer, though, is that... And they didn't say he was a new character was that Sonic has a, had Knuckles as an assist trophy now. So, if yeah. they're doing it, if they're, if they're doing what their ideas were and, you know, putting him into the game, I can see that because Project M did that and they were trying to put Knuckles in there for so long and it didn't really come to fruition because of legal things and whatnot. I think that's the reason why they, they got shut down because they were trying to do this for a long time and now Knuckles is finally in the game. Which I like that. Sega's actually giving us more than what we asked for. Yeah. Um, I mean, I would've liked Shadow, but then again, you know, Shadow... The only thing I can see different from Shadow is he would have his cat Blast instead of Super Su Hyper Shadow. It'd be a clone character. And, I mean, I don't know. Like, who would you... Like, who would you... He doesn't have to be a clone character, though. He could use all of the uh, chaos abilities he has in, like, Shadow Hedgehog, even though that game was bad, his abilities are kind of cool. And in other games, to fit his fighting style, he could do that. Yeah, but, have but we don't know We don't know yet what the rating of this game is, and if this game is rated E for everyone, E10 for everyone, it would have to, it would have to tone it down to whatever they have to, to make his him work as a rated E10 
character because yeah. if this ca but then again if they're bringing all the characters back and everything back from the original games then I can see them bringing back the T rated games ratings and then yeah. I can see them working with with Shadow and the in Shadow the Hedgehog but uh, I don't know. That's kind of strange considering Bayonetta is from an M-rated series, and she's. Know, that would, but that would that would later in them. That would later in the thing, though. I, I, yeah. Like people are picking them up and not going to be like that. Yeah. But. Um. um so um, the last, me, the Me Fighters, which I never really care to use, you'll be able to use them online now, and you can change audio files for each one, so they make different uh, sound effects and grunts and stuff when you're playing as them. I think that's. I think you can record them too. I'm not sure. Oh, that's cool. That means you I, can uh, do more with them then. Yeah, someone was saying just, just, just go get the game, buy the Toad costume, and just be like, Mario! Oh, now I want to do that. <laughs> or my sister was just like, I'm just going to make a Sans me character. Yeah, you can probably do that now. Um, um, one thing I noticed is that for each KO you get, uh, your uh, attack increases, I believe. No, no, what it is... Or, or you get, like, a point, I think. No, what it is, though, is, like, okay, say if, like, you're playing stock lives, or no, you're playing, you're not playing stock lives, but you're playing on a, on a time, on a time thing. Yeah. You, you still get the points for, um, like, you get a point for every time you kill someone. But what the thing is now, your assist trophies. The assist trophies, once you, once you lay them in the, uh, uh successfully summon them, right? Yeah. They can go out and attack your other player, they don't, they don't hurt you or anything because they're assisting you, of course. But your yeah. opponent can actually attack them and knock them out. And if they knock them out, they they get a point toward the overall battle points that they that they've won throughout the throughout the match. Which that's pretty cool. Yes, but then it's like, um, actually, yeah, because then what I want to know, what I want to know though, is that does that work also? If that's the case, does that also work? Because they didn't show it off, but does it also work for? The Red Devil, I mean the Yellow Devil, and uh, and if Ridley is in the game, does the Pyrosphere even matter anymore? Not really, unless they have a, a bigger Ridley, because they're much like how there's different uh, Links, Zeldas, and Ganondorfs from different generations and timelines. There's also I want I want different... that Ridley. I want that Ridley there's in the, the game. The, 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 there's also different types of Ridleys. Oh yeah, we didn't talk about Ridley, and we didn't talk about. Well, we're saving that for last. Because of how the conference did, and we yes. want to fit in the spirit with that. What? So now that we're done talking about everything else, um, we should talk about um, the returning characters because we didn't really talk about that too much. So, as well, told, a surprise, well, we're going. As a surprise to nobody, they're bringing back ice climbers. Because they don't have to worry about it being on limited hardware anymore while also being yeah. on Switch. Yeah, Ice, Climber, so, Ice Climbers was back. the only character. Ice Climbers was the only character I was actually expecting. I was not expecting anything else. Oh yeah, no, I can definitely say the same. I wasn't either. I also didn't yeah. know that Pokemon Trainer had the same problems on the 3DS that Ice Climbers did. Where it's like they couldn't get it to render correctly with switching out to different Pokemon with Pokemon Trainer, much like how Ice yeah. was that's why they, that's why they brought out on the 3DS version. That's why they didn't want the whole roster to be too much, but Charizard was the viable character, because Charizard is the best character out of all of them. But I actually see where people were coming from. He did kind of feel disconnected in Smash 4. With yeah, but, but now I don't know I don't know how much connected he is technically if you can if you can literally have no complication for using either Charizard, Ivysaur, Ivysaur or yeah. Squirrel. But, um... So, which uh, returning character are you most excited for? Because I think it's awesome David Hayter's voicing Snake again. Oh, yes, and I not <coughs> You gotta give me one second. Because you're dying. Well, my Switch controller died because I'm dying here, really. So we, have, so we have a bunch of returning characters, and... I remember Yang Ye saying about Pichu when he saw they were saying everyone's back, and he was saying you even have the worst character back. This is awesome. He's not the worst character. You just don't know how to play as him. Because put it this way: if you know how to play a Pichu, you can literally destroy people. Literally. I mean, hey, it was his opinion, but you know, I thought it was funny where he's like, even the worst character. He's no, like, no, you have it, him back too. No, I know it was a joke, but what I'm saying is, yeah. 
what I'm saying is though, you can literally destroy people with Pichu. Like, only characters are good, and I know they're gonna make improvements to them all throughout, and make them work. But, I'm- what I'm really excited for is just to see, like, what are they gonna do, like, for, like, design-wise? I'm not- I'm not trying to, like, go- and go buy out, you know, custom Amiibos anymore. I'm not really, like, into that anymore much. But, like, I do want the Amiibos, and I wanna know, like, what are they gonna do to, uh, to the designs of them? Cause like not, not really sure. That's a good question. Cause I can see, I can see. Time will tell. I can see. Cause I saw Ridley. Ridley had like a like a thing under him. Like like he was smashing the ground. So that looked cool. But and you know something. It's a highly. They said it was a highly detailed amiibo. Meaning they're not skipping on this at all because they're not skipping on the quality. They're going with the Breath of the Wild. Oh no no no. And they're skipping, not skipping on the quality anymore. So they're gonna be a highly detailed thing. And I was like, I'm looking forward to. Getting amiibo figures of all the Why is this not characters. working? What the fuck is wrong with this thing? So I'm looking wrong for. Who cares? Pay attention to it later, because we're not. No, because if my controller dies, I can't. I'm gonna get cut, cut off line. That's retarded, but okay. No, because you need a Wii U pad to play the game. You know that. For anything, uh, any Wii U. Oh, well, you said Switch controller before, so. No, not that. Well, you said that, so I thought you meant your Switch. No. Okay, so... I'm looking forward to getting a Snake Amiibo. I'm looking forward to getting an adorable Pichu Amiibo. I'm looking forward to Ice Climbers. I don't know what they're gonna do, but I'm excited for a Pokemon Trainer Amiibo. I'm looking forward to getting an Inkling Amiibo for Smash, because Inkling is also a character now, and she looks badass as ever. We already talked about that, though. Um, oh, yeah. Or, um, or we'll say they, because, you know, you can play this boy, Inkling, too. Yeah, um, but, um... In I, Inklings look amazing, so... They, they they look amazing, they play amazingly, and... But I was... You know, I was a little bit... Hesitant on... I was, like, I didn't... I wasn't really too into her Final Smash. I was I was hoping they would go a little bit, like, the... The Diddy Kong route, where you can use the jetpack. Was, I was hoping that, too. I was about to say that. So you could use a jetpack like Diddy Kong, and then you could shoot like splat on them, but and, and shoot paint on them. But yeah, um, that's what you mean paint, yeah. But I understand what they, what they were trying to do, and you know, a lot of these move sets, like and a lot of these like final smashes, are like all you know all similar in one way or another. If you think about it, you could say but, that um, about any fighting game. Yeah, well, no, because like they 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 like. Mortal Kombat doesn't have anything similar at all. They're all unique. I know. And so does so is Street Fighter. But but you can say I that about any game where it's like, oh, it's okay. You mash buttons. It's what I did this. like though, and you know what I, I did like, and I'm going to talk about this, is what? that each each stage in the game, we're getting we're getting. Cause we didn't talk about much about stages, but we're getting all the stages that we're getting. We're getting remastered stages from N64. I don't know how much of N64 we're getting over. We're getting remastered past stages, so yeah. some of the some of the some of the melee stages coming back too. I don't know what capacity yet or how much, but we're getting all remastered stages. I'm In looking forward stage, to the melee Peach's Castle. That was my favorite stage in that game. Yes, but one thing we're getting though, we're getting Omega and we're getting Battlefield stages and we're getting regular stages now. Meaning, we're gonna get stages with that, that with just the platforms. And then we're gonna get stages with just the Omega, where it's just straight up the flat stage, which is gonna be cool. I like to see some of those melee stages get turned into that. But one stage I was not fond of particularly was the the Inkling stage because yeah, it it could have been designed better. The way it, it they, they, they designed they designed they designed it off of Monterey Towers and Monterey Towers. Moray Towers. Moray Tower. Monterey, yeah, no, Mor Mori, yeah, Mori, like Mori towers, Mori, like a Mori eel. I thought I said Monterey eel. No, like the Moray eel, not Monterey, Moray. Okay. Anyway, the Moray tower was one of Ye the worst stages, and still no, is the worst stages that ever came out to be on. Splatoon 1 and 2. I don't know why they brought it back for Splatoon 2, but... You moron. That's what I was gonna call you. No, but they, they literally... Joking. I know. But they could've they could have took other stages and done it a little bit better. Like, 
just I don't know how I don't I mean I don't I don't, I don't know how they would they would have done it. I guess that's the best way they could do it. I don't see any other way they could have done it though. To be honest, I just me think neither. that. Huh? I said me neither. No, but I think for what it is, it's okay. I'm just saying if you could have picked a different stage of any any stage and and it could have and it, and it could have worked in here. Just you should have picked that stage instead of Monterey Mon Towers. Because that stage is literally the worst stage ever designed in Splatoon history, and I don't, and I know it works for here, but I don't like it as much. I just um, don't like it. I just don't like it as connected. But what I, what I did like though, and I'm gonna, and maybe you can bring some light onto this also, is Shadow Moses. Absolutely. I was like, you know what? They can't bring back Snake and not bring back Shadow Moses Island. And, yeah, I you know. know. Like, of course, it wouldn't be the same. And I'm glad they did that because that's such a great stage. You know what? I'm surprised though. What? I'm surprised that I'm surprised that Konami. Well, I, I then again, I guess I guess Sakurai hired him, but I'm still surprised that you said though that they got we got David Hayter back because didn't yeah didn't what do you call it didn't um what was that game? Freaking Tom Clancy. Uh, yeah, Tom Clancy's um, Splinter Cell actually gave a, gave an homage to David Hayter, saying that it was the last time we're ever gonna hear him again. And you know what? And he's and like, then it's only me because he's like, I heard these were saying Snake retired. Yeah, Snake did retire because like you got fucking Metal Gear Survivor, and Metal Gear Survivor is like nothing with Snake in it. Yeah, Metal also, Gear like, Metal Gear Survive did not survive. No. So I can see, and what David David Hader wasn't part of um wasn't part of um Metal Solid Five was it? No, not at all. They replaced him with Keith Sutherland, I believe, is what his name was. Well, I'm glad because they they took up like the original design too, but updated it a little bit to fit the Smash Four aesthetic, but and the yeah, Smash so Five aesthetic. This is like the sneak we know and love back. Yeah, I know, um, and I wonder I wonder though if his move set's going to change at all because. Now that he has more things that he could do, I, know, I mean, you could change a lot. Like, his arsenal is, like, unlimited, depending on what weapons you use and what stuff you have. Yeah. But, I don't know, because, like, some things are too graphic for... Because Metal Gear Solid and Matt Raiden game, it's too graphic. I don't know what so they could do. So is Bayonetta, though. I want, I want to see him, I want to see him back in the, in the box again, though, because he hasn't done that in Metal Gear Solid 5. Maybe it'll be his taunt or something. It probably um, will be. Yeah, wouldn't be surprised. I would be shocked otherwise. Um, so let's get to the last character they announced, and I think you know who I'm talking about. Really? They had, they had this badass trailer after showing everything else off, and it had Mario, Mega Man, and Samus together. The three of them were walking through this. Uh, research facility as if something you'd normally see happen in like the Metroid Prime game. One by one, Mega Man out of nowhere gets attacked when Mario and Samus aren't looking. He gets freaking Ridley's tail impaling him. Then the next thing you know, the same thing happens with Mario. And then the next thing you know, Samus turns around aiming her arm cannon at the ready. You see Mario's hat on the ground, so she's like realizes is like, oh shit, Mario's dead. The trailer went dark real quick when that happened. It's like there Mario, was, he straight up just killed Mario and Mega Man. He, there's there was no just, doubt he killed them. Yeah, and, I know. People were saying on um, Twitter and Tumblr, but like, well, <laughs> Smash confirmed Mario as a fighter. Now Mario deconfirmed. Mario and like, Mega Man, they're both dead. <laughs> they're like, they're like, oh, they're deconfirmed now. Thank, thank, thanks, Ridley. Thank, thank you for being here. We wanted you all this time, and then you go in and just take characters out. I didn't think they would be cut that fast. <laughs> like, like you, like you just bring a character in, and it's like, oh no, I, I saw what you could do. It, you, you can't, you can't fight a dragon like that. You just can't. You know, you know something though. I like, I like the trailer, but it didn't like feel like that Ridley that we saw in the trailer was the Ridley that we got. But I'm still happy, because Ridley still looks badass, and when you do one of his taunts, you do see he's actually quite tall. So he's oh, kind of, yeah. like, doing a little, like, stance to look short. 
So, you know what? I'm happy. He fights and looks and feels how Ridley should. And his final smash is badass. I love that Meta Ridley is a skin. So you can play as Meta Ridley. And he looks... Just... I'm... You have no idea how excited I am. No, you Ridley's, have no idea too. Mega Man was my main in Smash 4. Ridley's gonna be my main in Smash Ultimate. That That's what if, without a doubt. Do you think he's gonna have alternate, co alternate costumes? Oh, definitely. I don't see why he wouldn't. From what, Meta Ridley to Mecha Ridley? I can Omega see... Ridley? I was gonna say, Omega Ridley can definitely get a, be a skin too for Metroid Prime 3. Um... Yeah, I can see them doing that. This is just literally a dream come true. If you, if you told me over 10 years ago, whenever uh, the year Melee came out, I think Melee came out in 2001. If you told me from that time, 17 years in the future, in 2018, Ridley will be a playable character in Smash, I would not have believed you. Well, no, and I wouldn't even believe it either because he... I don't, I don't I've get been telling people for years he can work, they just don't want to make him work. And well, now it looks like I was right. I proved those people wrong. He can work. I'll tell you this much. I I have to wait and see how he plays. He looks amazing. I saw, I saw a gameplay thing they did at the Treehouse. He plays great. No, I know. I mean, but it, it's all up to, the, up, up to when you actually play it. And Well, yeah. I... I do, and I and I do like some of the things that they did, but going from a from a technical standpoint here and there, I kind of feel like I I just feel like Project M or whoever that guy was that that worked on the Ridley mod did it better. I just feel like he did it better only because it really he really took into account of all the things that Ridley was about and you know everything that yeah. Ridley was, and he put it all into one character, and it was like there you go, and you know. He made fun of Ridley here and there, like, oh, you can have Tiny Ridley, you can have Big Ridley, you can have Super Big Ridley, because, you know, there's different Ridleys, and you can have different mods for it and whatnot, just to get that going. But and but the regular size Ridley that was in the game, that was, that, that he built originally, and, and perfected over the years, until he got, I guess, he doesn't make it anymore, I don't know, I haven't really kept up with it, but... If he doesn't, if that Ridley, though, really seemed like the best kind of Ridley there was, and I don't, I don't see, um... I don't know if Nintendo can bring to bring to the table what he did, but I, like I said, we'll just have to wait and see. Cause I'm not I'm not doubting what Sakura can do. It's just like that Ridley looked that Ridley and Smash Product M looked better. It just it just looked better. I'm not doubting what Sakura can do because Sakura can pull things off. But I'm I'm just saying that Project M did that better, and I think for now. But we'll just have to wait and see and. Time, time will tell, because I'll probably be a Ridley main too, because I'm a Ridley main in Project M, but then Project M, he was overpowered, so I think, maybe, I think, maybe he would be better in here, I don't know, I have to, I have to wait and see how, how balanced he is, how he plays, how the physics eh. work in this game, and overall, and see how it works. Well, yeah, but as we said before, nothing's finalized, they're, they're gonna know. do tweaks by the time the game comes out. Yeah, I know, so, but if that's... I'm sure he'll be great. Yeah, I know, but if that's like his, if that's, if that's the way he's keeping his final... His, his final design, the way it is, I just don't, he just feels too cramped. I don't, I just don't, I, I don't know, he feels like he's too dwarfed. Like, he could be a little bit bigger, just a little bit bigger, but not like Master Hand side, not like Ridley from, in the, maybe Ridley, maybe Ridley from Pyrosphere could work, but... No, I, that I, actually is too big. If it was the exact size that he was in Samus Returns... I would be fine with that because then he is a bit bigger, but not too big. No, he needs to be a little game, bit he's bigger. Like, taller. yeah, like, I get what you he, mean. Okay, he needs to be a big. Here, 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 here's how it'll work. He needs to be a big as the tallest character in the game. That's all. So between like Bowser and Ganondorf, that or we fit trainer maybe or Zelda, they're tall. Yeah. All right, like, so just like that. But other than that, that's all. That's all I want. Yeah. Um. You know. Now, you know what? If there what? aren't, if there really aren't any more new characters in this, and it's just Ridley, Daisy, and Inkling, the fact that Ridley alone made it that makes my life complete. Like everything I wanted out of this game. I really don't know of any other characters so, that I dyingly want except so Shovel Knight. Just, so yes, but let me just ask you this then: if the game was the same, and they were like, 
Oh, we added- we're gonna add Ridley later in the game. Like, the game was totally the same, and like, we're gonna add Ridley in the game. But it's about development and taking, like, a long time. Do you justify it being 60 bucks, then? Well, yeah, because it's not just for one character. You're getting a complete game with many characters. No, I'm saying if the game was the same, though. You're, you're, you're buying the game over again, but with Ridley- Like, if it was, it was, the, if it was the exact same game, but you put Ridley, which is added. Um, yeah, I probably still would. Because, you know... You would pay, pay 60 bucks just to get Ridley. Don't say it like that. No, no, I'm saying if the game was the same. It's not the same, though. I know that, because it's all, only different changes and everything. I know Sakurai really working his ass off for this game. But I'm saying if it was, and Ridley was the only thing they added to it, you would pay 60 bucks for it then? I might. I don't know about that. I'll pay, pay 10 bucks. I'll pay more than the other characters, because Ridley, I want Ridley. I wouldn't pay 60 bucks for that, though. I'm looking forward to getting a badass Ridley amiibo, I can tell you that. So am I. I just, you know what I can do, though? I I'm bad be, uh, What? I was just thinking I could just get, like, a tiny, a tiny like, Samus figurine and glue him on there and be, like, Ridley versus Samus on the amiibo. That would be cool. Um, that would. so, you... <clears throat> One thing I want to bring up is... Well, we gotta talk about the things that were disappointing... They didn't show off any other games that we know they're working on. Like, we know they're working on Metro Prime 4. I was not expecting a gameplay trailer, but at least a little small teaser with Maybe? a release date. I have an idea. Oh, I have an idea. Dude! What? No, sh you didn't let me finish. Like, I was expecting at least a small teaser with a release date that at least says that it's going to come out sometime in 2019. No, but I at least wanted something like that. Bayonetta 3, same thing. I wanted at least a small teaser, and then it says it comes out 2019. We didn't get anything about either of those games, and we didn't get anything about the Yoshi game, which we have not seen anything about whatsoever since last E3, last year. And it's like, yet that game's supposed to come out this year, and they showed nothing about it. What if? I... Like, where's Yoshi? Did they forget about it? I don't. What I if don't they get just it. like open up the direct in like the fall, and then be like, "Well, here's all the all the games are coming out now for for the for the for the winter for for Christmas time. You can all buy it now for Christmas." I'm sure there'll be directs to, like towards the later parts of this year showing stuff about them, but for now, I'm just I'm a. I would say I do love this the the Nintendo direct that aired, but. I at the same time was also a bit disappointed because okay. they focused they focused for a way too long on Smash it feels like but I do understand why it was kind of necessary but also it's like you didn't really focus on anything else mostly Smash though so it's like you could have fit if they did all of that same stuff but also fit in more games like if they actually did show Metro Prime and Yoshi and Bayonetta I honestly wouldn't care as much, but it feels a little lacking to me. And that's my opinion. What if? I have, I have an idea, though. Other than that, I did love the Nintendo Direct. So did I, but I have a theory, though. What? What if Kingdom... What if, like, Metroid Prime 4 is it, it's doing... They're doing the, like... It's the biggest game that they're coming out with. Like, the biggest game that, 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 that they're trying to do. Like, overall... And they just and they just keep releasing stuff the same exact way as Kingdom Hearts Three was, where we're never gonna hear it for years, and then we're gonna come back and be like, damn. I'm gonna be cool. super pissed if they do that. But guess what? Because... You're so happy though that Kingdom Hearts coming out now, so. Yeah, but that's coming out closer than Metroid Prime Four is. And yeah, the difference. I know. The difference is, Kingdom Hearts 3's been in development for well over 10 years. Metro Prime 4's been in development for what, over a year now? You don't know that, actually. You don't know anything. They could be just be developing it and they have nothing to show for it. They just don't that's, want to show anything for it. That's why I agree with Cameron when he said in a video of his on their channel that the only way I can see Metro Prime 4 coming out anytime this year is if it was secretly in development for a while, but I doubt that. Well, that's what I'm saying. Or they, cause they, can you know something though, too? They, they, they've been taking games like that. We don't know anything about... We, we know about Fire Emblem now. But we know nothing about Yoshi, and we know nothing about Metroid Prime 4 yet. So, what if it's just like they're developing it, and they just don't, don't want to do anything with it, and then you're like, 
Oh, okay, now, you're gonna hear, like, you're gonna hear it, and you're gonna hear about it at, at Direct. And then, it's gonna be two days later, and they will release it. To get yeah. everyone to buy it. Um, lastly, I don't know if we talked about this. Did we talk about Pokemon Let's Go and Let's Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, and how impressive those look? Yes, um, we did not talk about them, and I actually watched the, um, a little bit of the Treehouse into that until I had to leave. I watched, I watched a little bit of it too, and then I had to go back to work. Yeah, um, but I watched a little bit of, of the Treehouse event, um, one thing is that they, they do have, which I don't know how they're working this out, and, and I understand if they want to take it out, they don't want to take it out, it's Hello? up to them. Huh? Hello? What did you do? I don't know what I did. Okay. But, um... What I was saying is, um... I don't know how they want to work this out in the, in the, in the game, but like I said, they said they were going to simplify the, the gameplay mechanics for the... for the battle and take out Eevees and Ivies, but they've shown the chart that's there for the Eevee and Ivies, so I don't know where they are, and they're not... It's not impossible to tell if they're there or not. Um... One thing that they did show off, and it's kind of a bummer now, and they do this with everything, and I know it's a fucking cash grab, but Mew is an exclusive character again, which, inside the Pokemon now, you can only get him with the Pokeball if you buy it. Yeah, I looked on Amazon, and the Pokeball Plus is currently unavailable. Yeah, but if you but they are the bundle, they are I'm not pre the game yet, because I'm waiting for that bundle to come out, because there's a bundle with the game and the ball, and it's 100 bucks. Yeah, I tried getting that, and the bundles are both gone from Amazon for now. Same well, thing goes for the Pokeball Plus buying that separate, but that's also unavailable on Amazon as well. One thing I did not... One thing I, I liked is that they say it's true, uh, like, 90% true to the original story. They're saying that if, if, you know, if you know the original story, you'll have a good time playing this. If you know oh, I'm Yellow, so excited. You'll have a you'll have an, a good time playing this. And they said it's it's good for newcomers, it's good for old old people. They want to they want to bring everyone into into this to play old, it. Old veteran oh. fans like myself and newcomers. Yes, old and new, all together, coming back, playing it all together, and fighting each other one on one. You know, so you all have you're all in the same skill level, kind of in the same skill level, I guess. So it's not like. Anyone with overpowering everyone, technically, you just know how to play, you just know your skills here and there. Yeah. Um, one thing I did not like, and they could have improved, and I saw it, and I know it's not final, it's not final gameplay yet, but I did not like the battle animations that they had, because, like, it seemed like certain Pokemon didn't have full battle animations. Like... I didn't watch enough of it to be able to give you my opinion, but... No, uh, but, no. like, it was weird, though, it was, like, cause they had, they showed off the two-player mechanic on there, where you go into a battle with a Pokemon trainer, and you go into the, the, the Viridian Forest, and you can fight a, a bug trainer, and then two of you can fight on, against one bug trainer, and then they had a Pikachu, and they had a, an, a Bulbasaur, first a Metapod, but the Metapod seemed like it, it, it used Tackle, and it actually came up to you and tackled you, but then Pikachu used, like, or, no, Ivy, no, Bulbasaur used some kind of move, I forget what it was though, a growl, and he only did was he turned to him and growled and that was it. Like, he didn't do much. And Pikachu used Thundershock, or Thunderbolt, to whatever they fair, want to call the it. To be fair, the growl move is pretty useless in Pokemon anyway, so... I know, but I'm saying the animation though, like, they, like if you're gonna have a tackle animation, at least you could, like, at least give more animation to the the moves. Cause, like, Pikachu yeah, just kind of like, sat, stood there. I don't know if they're gonna tweak it here, tweak it in there. And also, yeah. one thing I didn't, I didn't like, particularly, like, it just, it's just, it's just a nitpicking, though. It's just still good, though, but, like, it shows, like, all your Pokemon, like, evolving, not evolving, um, leveling up and everything. Yeah. You know, all their, all their sprites, or their little pictures, are still 8-bit sprites, or, I guess, 8-gen sprites now? Or 8-7-gen sprites? How they yeah. look when they're in their, in your party. Yeah, that's been a thing since, like, the Gen 3 games. Yeah, I know, but that's what I'm saying, though. They didn't change that, and I'm like, well, you could have at least, you know, you have the, you have a better, way better graphic system now for the game, so you could have at least put that in there. I mean, I know they're working on it, and I'm not sure what they're going to do more to the game, but for everything else, though, it's like, like, seeing Pokemon out in the wild, though, like, going through the Viridian Forest, you can actually see what Pokemon you're going to, you're going to go into and capture, is a good thing, because 
then you're not going to go into the forest and be like, well, I'm going to walk up the line of grass, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to catch a ratatat, or I'm going to catch a uh, metapod, or another metapod, or another metapod, or a caterpie here and there, or a pidgey. Like, you actually see them, so you know what you're going to catch and what you're not going to catch. You can avoid them if yeah. you don't want to catch them. That's one thing I actually do like. Yes, and what is cool, what is good though, is but see the thing is like there's so many Pokemon on the on the field now. It's like it clutters up a lot of space too. And they did show off what what like um they did talk about um what um like what your um what's it called your traveling companion is. Yeah, and they showed off Pikachu. And then we showed the Pikachu Pikachu game, not the Eevee one. A Pikachu stays on his um on your shoulder the entire time, but you could have another Pokemon follow you at, behind you. So they had a Charmander follow him. Yes, I saw that and I love that. So it's technically you have two Pokemon following you out of their balls at once. I really love that. But you know what they did that? though? They actually scaled the Pokemon to like the correct, like not accurate, accurate, but like the correct sizes that should be in, in for that for that game style. Cause yeah. Now, because they also showed off. Because they talked about that and they showed off what happens when you when you when you throw out an onyx they threw out an onyx and they t take it out of the ball and just keep it out and you're actually on top of the onyx riding it it was like that thing is huge oh yeah no is, he is a huge pokemon yeah that, that was like that's showing that you know they're scaling pokemon up to their original size meaning like a ratatat will be small against uh, looking at you and your pikachu will be you know the same size that pikachu yeah. should be onyx should be that now what i'm what i'm wor wondering is though is like if you can, if you can ride, if they, they said you could ride a Charizard, right? Yeah. Do you think you're gonna be able to ride a Zapdos, Articuno, or Moltres? Yes. Or is that even... Okay. Now let me ask you this. Even though it's not logical, and I know Pokemon doesn't follow logic in any way, how could you ride a Moltres without getting caught on fire? You uh, sit on the center of his back. Which is like the one part that doesn't have the fire. You'll be extremely hot then. I would not try that. I would be scared of shit. Thank you, Ash, for trying that for me. Then again, to be fair, in the anime, in that episode with the pony ta in that racing episode of the original series, uh, Ash sat on a pony ta and had to get used to the flames, and he didn't get caught on fire. So, yeah, I guess I mean, yeah, but you know. you know that's a bigger Pokemon, but. I don't know, we'll see how it works, because I know... I would love to see how Mew, Mew follows you, Mew does anything that, that... Like, they don't have, like, any animation except walking, but I wonder Mew if, like... Mew probably, like, like... Mew probably, like, hovers behind you. No, yeah, I know, but I'm saying, I wonder if, like, if he, like, does anything cute. Like, certain Pokemon would do cute things. I don't I'm know... I'm sure if, Mew will. Mew, Mew's an adorable Pokemon. One, so. thing I, one thing I didn't see, though, was interacting with the Pokemon while they're following you, so I don't know if you could do that, or if you can interact with... The Pikachu and the Pokemon at the same time. I don't know if that's a thing. My that guess works. is going to be both. I I don't know. I mean, I, I didn't see that part. But as far as what I saw, though, and everything, like I said, you get the two-player mechanic, of course. You get everything we talked about in our Pokemon discussion video that we're going to release later when I get when I get to editing it. Um, they're gonna we have a Pokemon discussion video about this, but more or less, you get Mew as an exclusive Pokemon. I will reiterate and say I don't know if that's 100% true, if it's an exclusive to the Pokeball itself, or if it's an exclusive, or you can get them anywhere else in the game, because I think, if that's the case, they're keeping it, they're keeping it true to the nature of Pokemon Yellow in that sense, where you were never able to catch, catch Mew without glitching in the game, or cheating, or actually replaying it, so I think, yeah. I think, it's a very elusive Pokemon, that's how Mew and Deoxys have always been. Yeah, but Deoxys you were able to catch, though, in, um... Eventually. Yeah, you were able to catch, though, but I'm saying in Mew... Mew you were never able to catch, though. You have to actually get it hacked into your game, or get it through in a... in a... in a, in a um... in a special event from a tournament that you had to win to get that Mew into your Pokemon games back in the day, but... I think... They're, if they're playing homage to to the old game, and they're playing and they're bringing the whole style. I think, I think Mewtwo Mew is not going to be in the game, which makes no sense to me because what I never understood though was why Mewtwo was in the game, but you couldn't get Mew. Because I guess because of the fact that no one's ever seen Mew before, so many people aren't sure if Mew even exists. 
But Team Rocket had to make Mew from a DNA of Mew Mewtwo out of a DNA of Mew, so they had to have seen it. They know it exists, so don't tell me that. Well, that's just the lore of Mew. Don't question me. Question them. I'm I just know. the mess. I'm just the messenger. Don't shoot. The I know. Messenger. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fight over this. Well, anyway, um, we're gonna end it here. Oh, one more. We're gonna thing end I it here. Mention. One thing. I, one thing. Though I was. I want to say though is one more thing. I want to mention. People got butt hurt that Fortnite was coming to the Switch. If I'm sorry, and I heard other people say this, if you're butt hurt about po Fortnite coming to the Switch, you're an idiot. Just, just saying. I, I downloaded it earlier, by the way, because I want to try that game out. Oh, now you do. Well, you know what? It's on the Switch. Why not? I guess. Um, but one thing I want to, I want to say though is like. Plus, it's as, free, so. As much... I, yeah. Um, as much as the Nintendo Direct was, was lacking, I still think they won overall of E3 because... Smash is Smash. No matter what... I I know people, and I don't know... And, I, and I'm not... I'm not even sure why this is a thing. I know people that buy consoles, Nintendo consoles, solely for the Smash game. Yeah. It's a real like, console seller, like how oh, Mario and Zelda are console sellers. Yes, but no, I mean, I know people that just buy consoles. They won't buy any Nintendo game, except for Smash. They won't buy anything else. Yeah, like, that's, that, that's, that's a little weird. bit crazy, I think. And I know people that do that. People do that for Call of Duty, so... Ugh, I hate that. Where it's just normies that don't play anything. Oh, yeah, I want to I wanna, I wanna talk about this for a second. I want to talk about Call of Duty right now, because... Oh, Call God, of Duty, no. <laughs> Call of Duty was... The worst thing I've seen in any three, like the worst, the worst, the worst thing. I was oh God, looking at that. Oh God! Here comes the Jeffrey rant. I, I, I talked about this before in our predictions, and I said, you know, if you're gonna do a game, don't be lazy about it. And you know what you did? Just to get people to buy your game. I'm, I'm not even joking about, about this. Just to buy your game. If you had, because because they have an exclusive to PlayStation now, like not like. And a, and a total exclusive, but like, you know how like, when Xbox used to get their stuff first, and then Sony got it later? Yeah. Time now, exclusives. Was, well, not, not time exclusive, time exclusive. It's like, oh, like, you're just gonna get, the, like, you're gonna get the DLC first, and then they're gonna get the DLC later. It's just yeah. like a thing. Like, you're gonna get it first and a day later, and then, or like, a couple weeks later, you're gonna get, they're gonna get the DLC, whatever it is. You literally made, just to get this game to sell out. Not even joking. Just to get the game to sell, you had to literally make a deal with Sony to get a bonus version, a bonus game. That because you're only getting supposed to get two games of the month for your PlayStation Plus account for free, and you decided to go and put Black Ops Three in there as a deal to get people to play Black Ops Three, so you can automatically say, "Oh, this is a good game. We're gonna play Black Ops Four now. I'm gonna get Black Ops Four automatically now." And then you say. Oh, well, if you pre-order Black Ops, we're not showing any gameplay whatsoever. We're gonna give you... Four maps. Not- and these, these are new maps, too, by the way. That did not even- that did not even- what do you call that? I did not even see yet. Like, these are, like, maps that I did not see that were coming back. But these are maps literally taken straight from Black Ops 1, and I would know that for a fact. So you're literally giving us Black Ops 1 maps. For free. If we pay the 60 bucks. But if we don't, we don't get it. Like, that's just being, that's being lazy because you're literally giving us stuff that we already had that we could already go back and play on older games, but you just wanted to keep shuffling it into our faces. Like, I understand, like, you can, you can release Mario Brothers again and again and again, or you can release Mega Man again and again and again, and you can release multiple games over and over again, but you're literally in the same console generation. Technically not, technically two console generations, but you're literally saying that it justifies enough to pay the 60 bucks to give us a slightly better version of four maps for 60 bucks because you are too lazy to actually go and make new content. You you literally are like the worst company ever. You're worse than when you are worse than Konami, not Konami. You're worse than when Capcom made DLC on the disc you got to pay for. You're worse than that because you're literally. I have friends thing. that always got pissed off about that with Street Fighter, and yeah. I'm like, yeah, it's pretty bullshit. It is bullshit, and I know Cap, I know Konami fixed their shit with that, 
But Mass Effect you're 2 worse. did something like that too, actually. Yeah, but you're worse than them because at least Kuna at least Capcom had the DC to make original content for the game. You were literally just taking old content and saying, Here you go, here you go, here you go, here you go, here you go. The only thing we're working on is Battle Royale mode. That's all you're doing. I'm so shocked. Like, you're just oh, yeah, it's not like anybody else is doing that right now, right? No, I'm literally shocked that you're <laughs> making us pay 60 bucks when Pub PUBG, Fortnite, and I guess that other game. Whatever the fuck that game was. PUBG? No, not PUBG. PUBG, Fortnite, and the other one with break, Breaking Something Studios. Breaking Law. Out, uh, uh, Lawbreakers. Lawbreakers, whatever the fuck that game was. That, that yeah, that game in. died, so... Yeah, I know, and then whatever they turned that into, like, five minutes later, and then said that was a good game, and then it died, too. Paladins? No, not Paladins. It was something else. They, 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 they Paladins did isn't no. as big as, like, Fortnite and PUBG. No, no, it's not. No, that's not, that's not the game I'm talking about. It was, it was a game that, that law, the Lawbreaker developer made, and then they, they made they, they made a game, like, a literally... A, would use the asset from the Unity engine, and then yeah, said, I know. I I forgot what the game's called though. Yeah, I know. I forget what the game called too. But then they literally like got bankrupt and decided to shut the company down. But either way, what I'm trying to say is, you these games that came out were for free. Well, maybe maybe that that game from Lawbreaker developers were not free. But what I'm saying is, at least they tried, and you know it was they. Some people said it was fun, and you know the battle royale thing can be fun, but. The only new thing you're bringing to the table, though, is vehicles. And now you're going to tell me, oh, that I couldn't drive a vehicle in a, t a war game before. I couldn't, you know, have a boat. I couldn't have an airplane. I couldn't have a tank. What are you doing? Like, just explain to me something. No, no different graphics. Listen, no different graphics. Reuse maps. Online only. And no story mode, but the story mode is going to be DLC. Paid DLC, by the way. So, what, yeah. what, 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 what am I getting out of this? Um, just stuff that was cut out of the game and resold to you as DLC. That's like, I've heard the comparison that people, including Young, you have made to go back you to know, him. You know what this Wait, notebook looks like? Shut up, shut up, shut up. I'm trying to think. Um, look what Young you talked about once in a video. It's like, them people cutting out parts of a game and then reselling it as DLC later on, that's like giving me, like, part of a cake. And then it's like, oh, okay, you wanted the whole cake? Well, we cut off some parts of it, but here, you can have it back for, like, $20. And then they give you that's the rest so of the cake. As I might have butchered what he said, but yeah, you get the gist of what I mean. You know what I kind of want to you know what I kind of want to do now? What? I kind of wanted you to buy... Like box boxes of like Call of Duty one two three one two and three, and cut them off and then glue the pieces back together from Black Ops one, Black Ops two, and Black Ops three. We glue them together and say this is what Black Ops four is. <laughs> like I really just want to like have like a, like a dismembered like <laughs> dismembered boxes of of game boxes and then just like put them back there like a Frankenstein thing. Like, There's the Black Ops four <laughs> with Fortnite with Fortnite on top of it. You wouldn't be wrong. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed that Battlefield Five is also following the same footsteps. Where it's just the only difference really is that it's gonna have a oh, freaking battle royale mode. It's like oh yeah because no, they have else a, well, no, is really see, the thing is, right now. No, but see, the thing is though, EA at least or EA owns Battle Battlefield, right? They own Dice, and Dice are the developers of Battlefield. Okay, so Dice, at least Dice, at least knows that a, a single-player campaign is actually important. Yeah, that's true. I'm giving them that that justification because the single-player campaigns are usually good too. So at least some yeah, but I'm, I'm just giving that justification because of the fact that you know at least at least you're not gonna cut it. At least you at least you're not like Capcom, where. Well, no, Capcom did it better anyway. Because at least you're not like at least you're not at least not Capcom where they where they took yeah. out the else, they took out the story mode from from Street Fighter Five and they put it back later. But yeah, that, that's why free. I didn't buy the game because I'm like the most of the best parts about Street Fighter is the arcade story, the arcade mode, and they took that out. I'm like, yeah, I'm not really interested now because it's unfinished. So 
But with all of that, could... yeah. Oh, one thing all... I want. Okay. One thing I wanted to say though is like that we that I'm surprised and I'm really really surprised though. And I know this is a little thing, but they had n Nintendo had nothing. Yeah, nothing. pretty much nothing well, to talk about about 3DS content. Like they didn't even say, yeah. "Oh, Luigi's Mansion's coming back out." So they didn't say that at all. They didn't say, "Oh, we're getting this game, we're getting that game again." Like they didn't say anything about what release date or nothing. They just said, they "Oh just yeah, Luigi's like, Mansion's supposed to be coming out this year." So that's another game they didn't mention anything about. Yeah, and then Bowser's Bowser's Inside Bowser Story. Well, that comes out next year, so it kind of makes sense. It's a little too soon to mention anything about the Bowser's Inside Story remake. No, I know, but they still... It's, it's, so, I'll give them a pass on that one. No, you can't say that, because you can also say the same thing about Metroid Prime, then. Well, no, because the thing is, is Metroid Prime 4, we don't know when it comes out. Bowser's Inside Story, they already said, is coming out 2019. For all the hell I know, Metroid Prime 4 could be coming out probably early 2020, so... Who knows? But, um... That's that, the difference. But, we know when yeah. the Bowser's Inside Story remakes come out. It comes out in yeah. 2019. They said that during their spring Nintendo Direct. Yeah. But, um... With that out of the way, this is going to be a two-parted discussion video. Damn, it's a three-hour long. Yeah, so I don't want to clutter three everything hour. together. Three, you want to do three-part, then? Mmm... I don't know. I might An make it just... Uh, sure, why not? Alright, so we're gonna split this off into three videos, and we uh, want to know your thoughts, so let us know what you thought of all yeah. the conferences, which one you thought was the best, which one you thought was the worst, which one you thought was just eh. Um, who won, this, who lost, who, um... Who, in my who, opinion, despite... What you excited for? Despite everything with Smash and everything, I still think Nintendo, I mean, uh, I still think Microsoft and Sony had just a little bit more to offer. I think those conferences were a bit better than Nintendo's. Yeah, but I can, I can see I'm that. I'm not saying, I'm not saying I didn't love Nintendo's conference. I did, but I think did Microsoft and Sony's were better. I think I can't even decide. I think Sony's might have been better, or Microsoft's might have been a little bit better. They you both, know what? they both were great. I'm gonna say that. You know what, one thing, though, that, that actually got me annoyed, though, and I'll, and I'll say one, more, one last thing what? before I forget. What? Is that they did they did show off the Octo expansion for, like, two seconds, but, like, the Octo expansion for Splatoon 2, they, they could have, they should have gave us a lot more. Like, we know, we know little, like, we know a lot about it, but we don't know a lot about it at the same time, like. Oh, yeah, no, like I was disappointed like, with that, too. Like, there's a lot that, like, people are coming out and saying this and that, blah, 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 like, you know, Gaming Plane saying this. I was also there. disappointed in the lack of Mario Odyssey DLC. Yeah, but I think that game is like they, they haven't they don't, you know the thing is though Nintendo doesn't really do DLC as like, much as they used to. Like yeah, they, they it's don't true. like they don't do DLC like that. Like they do like expansion packs or they do that. But like DLC like they're giving us free content now and like they don't really do paid DLC like that unless it's like a big expansion for a game like Champion Ballot or the new Xenoblade 2 expansion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or I, I'm assuming if Smash Five, Smash Ultimate gets any DLC, which I highly doubt, because they're trying, they're saying that their number one focus wants to get every single character into the roster, back into the roster, and their major major focus. So I don't see them doing any DLC for that. That's enough as we got already. Ridley was enough to begin with. I remember agreeing and laughing with Young Yeah and saying at the same time he did when I watched his live stream earlier. Um. When the part where Sakurai says getting all of the uh, the fighters from every Smash game in here was our main goal, so we hope you aren't ex we hope you aren't expecting too many new fighters. And both at the same time, I'm watching Young Yeah and his reaction, and me and him are both like, "Yeah, we are." <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know something else like. After that, after after they said that, they made a thing like, "Don't ask me for anything ever again." After they revealed Ridley, I was definitely thinking that afterwards. Where he's like, "There, I did it. Don't ever ask me anything again." It's that thing where it's just like from the last year, like, "Don't ever for ask me for anything ever again." Yeah. Um, like this, if, if Ridley does it, if if put it this way, if Ridley makes it into the next next Smash game for whatever that's gonna be, I'm sure he will. I don't know. This is the ultimate game. I don't know how they're gonna. I I just don't see. 
people like, would be pissed if they only kept him for one game and they're like, okay, well, we did it once, we're not doing it again, so. Well, I'm sure I mean, people I don't would know. get pissed, so. I don't know, because, like, this is the ultimate game. I don't know I don't know what you're going to call this. If you want to call this a sequel or a, pre a prequel, like, an uh, anniversary game, I don't know what you want to call this, but it's, it's like, you a know. Sequel I can... A sequel versary game. Okay, but what I'm saying is, though, like, you can, like, they took characters and they kept all the characters from, from, from Melee, and they, except for Young Link and Pichu, and then they took them out, and Melee, I mean, and Mewtwo, I guess. But they put all the characters back in the brawl, and they, it, like, they bring, I don't know. Like, they cut characters here and there, they bring characters back, and there's that, and I don't know, I don't know what they're gonna do for the next Smash game. It's gonna be like, we're gonna keep all the characters, or we're gonna, you know, pff, take them out? Like, what are we gonna do? Like, I don't know what they're gonna do. Yeah. Because uh, anything can happen. Anything up for grabs, and, and I know it's way too, way, way too soon to even talk about that. But that'll be yeah. for something else. Yeah, we gotta wait till like twenty twenty five to talk about that. So yo, twenty twenty five. I don't even want to think about that. I'm gonna be twenty twenty five, twenty eighteen right now. I'm gonna be like thirty years old. Fuck this. I'm gonna be a thirty year old sitting in my house playing Smash. I don't like this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna get old by the time Smash is, like, dead. Hey, you're never too old to, uh, play Nintendo games. Let me tell you that right now. No, I know that. But, but anyway... Anyway, we gotta end this. I'm tired and I wanna watch yeah, some late. more... I wanna watch more, uh, Smash stuff from the Treehouse. Um, right ahead, cause a, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't there was much. another... There was another, uh, video they uploaded earlier that when I oh, saw the tournament. Yeah, so I wanna I wanna finish watching that. And with that, we will end this and we hope you guys had uh as much fun with E3 as we did, even though some parts were lackluster. Or just a little bit yeah. But eh, all in all I really can't complain too much because most of our predictions came true. Some didn't, and hey, that's that's fine. Here's the here's the here's, here's what I here's the thing though here's what I want to say. As a wrap it up, E3, you were great. As certain things were lackluster, I understand I understand, but you know E3 always gets better and better each year, and I don't know how much better it can get next year, but you know things are coming together, and you know developers like to blow minds, so um you know keep it coming. I'm waiting I'm I'm waiting next year. E3 is over now. Um, actually, technically, today is the, today, what's today's date? The 12th? Today's, yeah. We still have two more days, technically, of people on the show floor checking out games, testing games out now, and so, and the Smash invite, I think, I think if that's still going on today or tomorrow or the next day, I don't remember. But I think it ends the 14th, it's, I think, the 12th to the 14th. That's when E3 ends, officially, but I'm saying, I'm talking about the smashed in invite. I don't remember when that was supposed to be, but I believe that is, as I said, it's between the twelfth and fourteenth. I believe it said that on the live stream video cards when I was watching it. So, okay. So, anyway, same same goes for Splatoon. I think as so as we you know as E three keeps going on for the next two days after we after we upload this, um, we hope to see you next E three, and we hope to have a better experience and a better gameplay experience, and you know. Maybe we'll hear rumblings of a PS5. Maybe we'll hear rumblings of a new Xbox or a new Switch console or something. That'll blow our fucking minds because Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo are going to give us what we want and they always come through and we will get what we want. So, I mean, Microsoft a lot of times just does, well, you know, they don't have too many exclusives, but they were actually very impressive this year. So, well, actually, I you know actually. I want to give them a lot of credit for that, so... Yeah. I'll give credit to everyone who was there, because, you know, they tried their hardest, they gave it their all, and, you know, we can we, we got what we got. Um, one thing looking forward to that I want to I wanna look forward to, and may, we may do a video on it, we may not, we won't really do videos on this, just to ra wrap it up, um, there is a Tokyo Game Show award thing, or whatever, a Tokyo Game Show, where, um, that's in, like, August, I think, or July, I don't remember. It's either one of those time or in September, one of those that they show off, um, that people like to show off more games and stuff like that. So Nintendo might have some more stuff to bring there. Sony might have more stuff to bring there. Ooh. And Nintendo might, and 
Microsoft might have more stuff to bring there, so we might do something with that if we know anything about that. Mm. And there's also in the future, in December, there's also the PlayStation um theater event thing, whatever it's called. I forget what it's called, but PlayStation has their own thing in, in December, the PlayStation Experience. Maybe we'll so, see an actual gameplay trailer slash release date for Death Stranding there. Maybe. Who knows? But we have we still have wait to come until the end of the year end. We still have six months to go, so as until December comes, so we'll and we also have all the directs that Nintendo like to do so, anywhere in between, so whenever yeah, we're in them. So, so maybe at the next direct we'll get Metroid Prime 4, Yoshi or Bane, and a news, maybe. Maybe, we'll see. Unless they do the Game Awards show and they do it like they did last time and just fucking, you know... Where they had the teaser for Bayonetta, they actually have a full trailer for Metroid Prime 4 and it says coming yeah, out Yeah, they might do it like that, because that, 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 that was surprising at least. Yeah, that's no why one was I, expecting that. See, that's, that's the thing though, you know... That was a huge surprise. Maybe they're gonna just surprise yeah. us, like, you know, Nintendo Nintendo's like that sometimes. Yeah. Who knows? But, um... As, anyway, we'll, as always, and if for real this time. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Click the annotation on the screen if they're going to be any, which there probably won't be. Um, click the link in the description below. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next series we have coming up. The next couple of series we have coming up, which should be Pokemon Yellow, finishing up um, Bloodstain, Kirby. Um, we also have when it comes out very soon. We're going to do a video on Sonic Mania. Uh, plus, prefer probably the Japanese version. We're not sure yet. Whenever I get mine, and we also have Mega Man on the on the rise. Or Mega Man Eleven for now. So those are going to be in our in our bat, in our cage, in our cages, in our minds going forward the rest of this year. I definitely want to play Mega Man Eleven on the show. Oh, you know definitely. How much we, we are. To we are. Game. Mega Man Eleven. But you, you know how much not? I'm looking forward to Mega Man Eleven. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it too, and it also has all the difficulty mode that we can all play together, so it's like, you know, we'll, we'll be the game no matter what. Yeah. So, like I said, stay tuned for those, because those are the upcoming upcoming series that we're working on, that we're going to be working on when, when the game come out. Um, we might have some filler games in there, we're not sure yet, maybe maybe Mother th maybe Mother 3, or Earthbound, we're not sure yet, we're going to see what's going to I was gonna say, I hope uh, Mother 3 gets announced maybe towards the end of this year to be like, alright, for Mother's 30th year anniversary. That too, but I've heard that. I've, he three. I've heard that there's controversy with that game that they don't allow it to be in America, but that that's just the thing that people are saying. I don't know if it's true. I would maybe love it's it. it's because but that game's way too depressing. I don't know. But, as I said. You know, what, you know what I just realized? I don't know if you mentioned it in one last thing. I what? really love. I really love that part of Mega Man's final Smash now includes Proto Man and Base, so at least somewhat they're in Smash. I, d I did say that, but I was like, that's the same oh, thing as, as. Okay. Yeah, I did mention it, but I was like, you you really like it's not. I don't I don't know how much that adds to it. Like, if is it just a cosmetic thing, or is it like, is it adding more a little bit more power to him at the same time? I don't know. Like it it just I seems think like it's it, both. Maybe, but if it's just a cosmetic thing, it's like it's cool, but it's like it didn't need to be there because you just. Like it was a it was a quick thing you could add. I know you could you added and it was a cool thing, but eh, I think it's know. both cosmetic and power. I would I would I would have liked his I would have liked his adapter adapter ability from Rush better than than that. But like you Rush know, adapter, yeah, yeah. But they but like like I said, they they took out the transformation, so we're not really they took out the transformation smash final smash, so we're, they're not really doing too much with that. Well, I have an idea that, that they, wouldn't work. I have huh? an idea that. I have an idea. They could have made Rush Adapter into a power-up item that you get that temporarily boosts your attack or something. Then, I don't know how much that would work, and then you need to have it for every character. I don't know, and they don't really do third-party things like that. Not Ryu or Mega Man have any third-party um, items in the game. Except for Gooey Bomb, which Gooey Bomb is already in, made into his moveset, so... Yeah. I don't know. But anyway, no. now it's end it yeah. for real. So, like I said, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, click on the link in the description. Stay tuned for all the rest of the series, any and any any filler series if we have any time for that, because these games are going to be pretty long going into it. And you know, I mean, we have we have from July Sonic Mania not that long. We have something in the in the middle of it to, to fill that up. So maybe we'll maybe we'll do Tim Feeling that again. We'll try that out I, again. 
I got that next month, and I got the Mega Man X Legacy Collection next month, so... Alright. All right, so, so. We'll, 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 we'll always be playing something, so... Like I said, look forward to the game that we that we are announced, that we did announce. Like I said, Pokemon Yellow, Kirby, um, Bloodstain, finishing up for Bloodstain, and then Sonic Mania Plus, and then Mega Man, and whatever filler in between the two months or three months from Sonic Mania and and Mega Man, whatever we have filler of. Watch out for that, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.